Ethan. Ethan. It doesn't look like that him. bad. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Hermione's ultrasound date is here. We're gonna try to do it ourselves, and we're gonna see if we can see little babies, little pig babies, piglets. Oh no, was I not recording? Oh well. Looks like she's definitely pregnant. Yeah, I just I swear saw. there's babies yeah, in she there. Keeps, she keeps moving, so she's making it really hard for me. Wait, oh, did you just get that? Yeah. That shot? I know what you mean. I'll freeze it on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Hermione. Good job, Hermione. You're pregnant. <laughs> so, what's the due date? Due date is three months, three weeks, three days. So, it's February 26th. All right. You love these pigs. Except Hermione never lays down for you. Oh my gosh, you did it! That's how you know she's pregnant. Oh my gosh, Kevin, you are so weird. <laughs> Tilly a biscuit. She has babies. Every day she's confused on which way to go out the fence. <laughs> she's um, like, wait, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be milked. Oh wait, not anymore. I'll just Stella get one too since she has babies. Too. Yeah, give Stella one. No, Winnie, you don't have babies. Okay, give one to Luna. <laughs> oh, goodness. They don't trust us to get close enough yet, so we kind of have to throw it out in the yard. Come on, guys. Come, come on. on. Come on, come on, come on. Not you, Kiwi. <laughs> They're so scared of Kiwi. Kiwi is the boss. Tilly's gonna try to eat some of that grain. She doesn't care that that goose is trying to bite her. <laughs> The geese have been pretty quiet during the day. The only times I hear them is if like a hawk goes flying over, then they'll start squawking. So I guess they are a pretty good uh, alert system, especially since we live on such a small acreage here, just one acre, it helps a lot. Oh, do you think I have something? I don't, I'm sorry. I don't have something. Not too bad of a nutter there, guys. Let's see if we have any eggs today. I don't think so. The chickens have all stopped laying for the winter. They stop laying because the sun isn't out as much and so it doesn't signal to their brains that it's time to produce eggs. The days are shorter. So uh, we just let them stop for a while and take a rest. We just keep feeding them their same feed and um, they'll pick up again probably in February or so. We have one chicken here guys that <laughs> has decided to start molting here in the middle of the winter. I know it's not as cold where you guys are at, but um, yeah, you're not looking too good. I bet this chicken is cold because <laughs> probably is. trying to warm up in the sun because she's decided to molt. The wrong time to molt. Okay, you have to go like fast or else they're all gonna run away. I'll stay back so I don't scare them, okay? Any, anything, we need like three. Three fish should be perfect. All right, did you get any? There's holes in the net. There's holes in the net. Did you get any though? No. Okay, well, fast. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> So recently we've noticed that one of our chickens hasn't been looking so good. And we read up that 
fish is supposedly really good for chickens. So we're gonna catch a couple minnows and then we're gonna go see if she'll eat them. Anything? You got one? One. one? Just one fish? Two fish. Two fish? Okay, okay, keep them in that corner. That might be good. I think that's good enough because we can't find any other fish, so. Yeah. Whoa I'll do it. Oh, they're cold. The cracks. I won't. I'm just gonna put them right here. Okay. There's the two fish. I mean, maybe he is looking a little better, but I don't know. I've got the fish in my, whoa! It's okay, it's okay, these fish will make you feel better. It's okay, okay. it's okay. I'm gonna let him peck it out of my hand and hopefully he doesn't kill me. He might peck you. Okay, okay. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Aw. It's okay. It's okay. Here you go. Fish. Eat it. It's okay. Oh! oh! <laughs> this scared the crap out of me. Okay. Okay, one more. One more. One more. Oh! Oh, he did it! Good job, Good job yeah, Mr. He's Chicken. Looking a little worse for wear, but. No, no, no. Ever since he ate those fish just now, I think he looks a hundred percent better. Yeah. I think that we should give her a name in honor of this moment. Borgen. Hopefully those two fish will help Borgen feel better. Fiona, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, this is the chicken coop. Feline, you got out too. Best tools on the farm is baling wire and duct tape. What do you think? This works just as good. I found a way I don't even have to trim my beard anymore. Super easy. No maintenance at all. Should we show him Winston's new trick? How if we don't put the carabiner on this, he can lift this up, guys. Like he knows how to lift this up and get out. He's so smart. They're excited because little Tatum here is in heat again. That was quick. All right. This craft was to help the buck area here. We needed a better area for when we have the does with the bucks without the other buck thinking he gets to join the fun. Welded a couple of pieces here together and made kind of a makeshift gate. And basically that'll work. They yeah. can come in here and have some fun without <laughs> being with the other buck. Yeah, because what we've been doing in the past is we've been taking one of the bucks and putting them all the way over there in that pen. But this is a quicker way. Oh. So now Kevin's built me an official little breeding pen. The boys are excited about it. He's really concerned about the girl right now. He wants little Miss Tatum. Even though you can't have her, she's your half-sister, so... <laughs> we just need a little roof, Kevin. A little roof. Oh, yeah. In case it rains that one day, we want to breed another goat. Since it only rains here once a year. <laughs> yeah. Do you like it, Winston? <laughs> That's a yes. Well, guys, I don't think these meat chickens are going to lay. What we have accomplished is they love food so much that they are really tame now, as I say that. The <laughs> tamer. Every day I check, and every day it's just the little wooden egg that we put in here. So, most chickens do stop laying during the winter, so this isn't that surprising. Although, if by spring we haven't had any eggs, not sure that my plan is gonna work. They sure are pretty, though. We have a bunch of peppers in the garden, and they're gonna freeze up soon once the weather turns really cold like 30 degrees cold, guys. 
So today I'm gonna make something called pepper steak. I remember my mom making it when I was a kid and I hated it, but I'm thinking that that was just because I was a kid. So we're gonna chop up a bunch of these peppers and make this dish. I looked up a recipe online and it's pretty simple. You start by searing some beef. It can either be skirt steak or stew meat. It doesn't really matter. Once that's browned, I'll add the peppers, although I probably should have added the peppers first and softened them, but it still worked out. I ended up moving everything to a wider pan, and then it was time to add the sauce. It's very simple. You've got cornstarch in there to thicken it, some soy sauce, a little bit of brown sugar, and the heat just thickens it up right away, and that's it. We served it over brown rice. It was tender, delicious, and nothing like I remember from childhood. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. A W O L and a two. All right, we're ready. Karen's already ready for bed. Karen, and this isn't even your bed. Well, it's time to get the baby goat's ears tattooed and ready for their new homes. Tattooing is a simple way to give them some identification to go along with their registration paperwork. Let's show her heart. She does <laughs> have a little with heart. This, this, little, this makes the little it makes a little heart. You have a little heart, you do. Oh, don't bite, no. There's a little device where you can put the letters and the numbers in, and then it sort of pierces their ear, effectively giving them a little tattoo. But before we give them their tattoos, we always give them their CD and T vaccination. I give it to baby goats at eight weeks and then a booster at 12 weeks, and it's always the same dose, two milliliters no matter the age or the size. <laughs> really slow, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Burns. And I actually get a different one that goes in the muscle. This way I find it prevents them from developing a sore at the site. First we clean the air, which is really, really gross. Clean oh. this one too. No, she's clean. She's clean. Huh and then we tattoo their ears. On one side is our herd name, or herd abbreviation, which is W-O-L-2, and then on the other side is the letter of 2020, this year is M, and then the order of birth they were on our farm this year. Hold on, sorry, make it Okay, myself. really quick, really okay, quick, I really will. quick, one, really quick. Two, three. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's sorry, okay. sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, It's okay. Really quick. Really fast. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I'm guessing Fiona was born first. Fiona is number nine of all the baby goats born, born on our farm this year. And Feline is 10. I know. They get it all in those little spots. Okay, we'll leave that on till you go to your new home. What a good Being girl. a good girl. Okay, leave that on for a few days. She kind of always does that. She kind of always puts her head. Yeah, she's a little bit feisty. One, two, three. Ah! All done. They always do a little. Ah! One, two, three. Ah! It's okay. Okay. It's okay. You did it. Okay. Good girl. All right, babies are all tattooed and ready to go. At the end of this week, they're both going to go to their new homes. So we'll be sure to show you guys that whole adventure. But until then, I think they're good to go on everything. I can carry it. Thanks for watching today's video guys. If you want to watch the video when Hermione gave birth last time, click right here. <laughs>